Hi guys, so how do I find the edges in an image in Affinity Photo? Now this is good for the iPad or the desktop. The short easy steps of this one, it's a very quick little video. So in Photo, create a new blank document. Place an image from the stock studio on the palette and adjust it to suit. <coughs> and that's a nice little one there. Now there's something tricky about this one. In other words, the animals have a lot of fur. Duplicate your layer and lock it. Select the unlock layer and hide the locked one. And you can see that in the layers panel there. Step three, rasterize the image. You really do need to rasterize the image. It's the only way it'll work. It now reads pixel in the layer, not image. Step four, now select the filter studio and scroll down until you see detect edges. I've got it showing there on, with the arrow pointing to it. Tap on detect edges and as soon as you do this, your image will turn to a negative, which is not quite what we want. <clears throat> so step six, change this to something we can use. We need to invert it. Select the adjustment studio Look for Invert and tap the Invert option. And there you go. Now the image is inverted. And you can see the outlines around the edges of the animals are fairly well defined. But there's also colour in there. So we need to remove the colours that are still visible. Reselect the pixel image layer. Not the adjustment layer, but where your actual image, the pixel image layer. Now, still in the Adjustment Studio, select Recolor. Set the three options of Hue, Saturation and Lightness to zero. And you can see that in the Context Toolbar across the bottom there. Leave everything else as it is. Now, reselect the Pixel Image Layer again. And you can see all the colours gone there. And depending on your image, you may need to do some adjustments like removing the fur, for example. We won't be able to remove all of that fur entirely, though. That's a bit of a problem with animals. The animal fur will always create issues when detecting edges, because indeed the fur itself has edges. So, ensure your image is selected, go to the Filters Studio and tap Detect Edges again. This is a direct filter and will apply directly to the image. You won't see a new layer appear in the layers panel, but your image will be much darker and much more well defined and you can see it really is there. There's another example. Let's try another image. This one didn't need the last step of applying detect edges again. It's too busy and there's no fur. If you, try, if you were to tap Detect Edges on that image again, it turns into a black blob. Cool, huh? So, experiment. It's fun. You can find your edges, and this is really good for sublimation work or cutouts, things like that. If you're using Cricut or Cricut, whichever way you like to pr pronounce that. But there's, an, there's some examples for you. So easy. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the thumbs up to like. I really appreciate it.